start. But. Okay, this is 7 7. Um, it says, examine this diagram at right. The smaller triangle is similar to the larger triangle. Write a proportion and solve for x. It will be helpful to draw the two triangles separately on your paper. I'm going to draw the two triangles. I'm going to make this one my larger <coughs> triangle, this one my small triangle. Now my small triangle is easy because it's just, I can see this is x, so that's x. And the bottom right here is h. And then I see that this is 8, but I don't know what this bottom is, right? Because, I mean, I know from here to here, it's more than 8, because I think this 8 goes just right here. So we want to write a proportion. Does anyone remember what it means to write a proportion? Yeah. One of these things, right? Some fraction equals some other fraction. So I'm supposed to find out what x Oh, what am I doing? I had a 10 right here. <laughs> so this is 18, yeah. This is the big triangle and this is the small triangle. The big triangle is the outside triangle and the small triangle is the this shaded one right here. Do you guys understand? <coughs> These two shaded ones are the same. And then this one's the big outer triangle. Okay, so now we can do it though. What's our proportion? What do you think, Cody? X over 8 equals, oh, you want to reduce it? You can reduce it, sure. So he said X over 8 equals 4 over 9. I might have said X over 8 equals 8 over 18, but isn't 8 over 18 4 over 9? Yeah. So that's okay. It reduces it better. It makes it easier. Well, you're supposed to do that, aren't you, with the uh, proportions? Yeah, I probably, once I had it up here, I would have done it. I would have reduced it. I'm going to reduce it right now, so now I see there's a 4 here. 4 goes into itself once, 4 goes into 8 twice, right? Why make things hard on yourself? Now, but we know we have to do cross, or I hope that you know that you want to do cross products here. So you go 2 times 1 equals x times 9. Hey, this is ugly. This isn't very good. Is this right? Did I mess up? I got two nines, and that seems pretty small for that. Um, <coughs> that it's supposed to be 32 nines. So, is it bad that we went 8 over 18? Because, I mean, that we went 4 over 9? It's half of 8, 4. Well, I mean, I feel like we should stick to what they give us. Not so Cause, okay, so 8 times 8 is 64. And then x, 18x. So I think I just did some bad arithmetic somehow. 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 2 times 1 is 2. I don't know. I did some bad arithmetic, but this time it's going to work. What am I doing? Divide by 18. So what's 64 divided by 18? 3.5555555. <laughs> Um, they got the same thing. So why didn't it work? It's 3.5 like a lot of fives. Okay, that's the answer. Why didn't it work when we, re when we reduced it? It should have worked. 8. Is 8 over 18 really 4 over 9? I think it is. Yeah. So I must have messed up something when I did this. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. I don't see what I did wrong. 9x equals 2. Hmm. I don't know what to say about that, Cody, but maybe don't reduce it. <laughs> Cross products work, though, when we didn't reduce it.